Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. This is the Hero Arts My Monthly Hero Kit for November 2021. It did sell out, guys, but I knew it would because it's such a fabulous kit. Um, we're going to take a look at everything that's in the kit and then we're going to make some projects using it. This video is more for inspirational purposes, um, but I love this kit. Let's take a look at everything we have and then we'll jump into our projects. You get a 4x6 stamp set. Now this stamp set has two block backgrounds. Um, they are polka dots and stripes and these are great on their own. You can create presents with them. You can create backgrounds with them. You can create um, all different colors of papers that you can die cut with them so it's pretty neat and then there's lots of Christmas sentiments in that stamp set including to and from so if you want to create tags these would make the most adorable tags you have the to and from um, in the stamp set too this is your die set oh my goodness there are a total of 13 fancy dies in here and you have a little bit of everything to make a little bit of everything this holiday. <laughs> you can make an elf, you can make Santa, you can make a reindeer, you can make a snowman, and you can mix and match to your heart's content. I think this is gonna be so much fun. So that is included in the kit. They've also included one yard of red and white Baker's Twine. So if you do plan on um, creating tags, you get some Baker's Twine to top those tags with. Um, and then you also get um, some fun white puff embossing powder. And then you get a lacquer pen. These two are meant to work together or uh, the lacquer pen can be worked on its own. I just did a little squiggly line on some white cardstock. I'm gonna go over the uh, lacquer that we just added with my white puff embossing powder. I'm gonna carefully try and funnel it back in here. And then I'm going to melt it to show you what it does. If you guys don't know what the um, white puff does, but it creates a um, real snowy, flocky kind of a look. And it's so easy to create with your heat gun. So you'll need a heat gun to do this. Um, just the white puff embossing powder and the lacquer pen. If you want to purchase it over at uh, the Hero Art Shop, um, that alone is $10.99. So it's pretty neat stuff. You can see how it fluffs up. If you get your heat gun too close, um, it will bubble up. You don't want that to happen. I suggest maybe letting your heat gun warm up before you do this. But this is perfect for stocking toppers, for Santa's cap, snowy backgrounds. And so I'm excited that Hero Arts included this in the kit this month. So it's a great value. Um, you also get another goodie bag. You get one five and a half by eight and a half sheet of some glitter cardstock. This is uh, white glitter cardstock, and then it's paper, I should say. And then you get ten sheets of the Hero Arts Snow cardstock, and these are all eight and a half um, by five and a half sheets. So if you fold it in half, you can create a side folding card base. But this is great for die cutting too. So if you plan on um, breaking out your inks and coloring in your inks, um, you can use your white cardstock to do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and create three card bases with it. Just fold it over corner to corner and reinforce that score line with my um, bone folder. And then we have three card bases ready to go. Okay, now let's get to die cutting. This is the fun part. I, I have some colored cardstock pieces here. You can see I end up changing out the green for a, a brighter green. And then um, I have craft cardstock for the reindeer um, and also brown for the elf. I have the red and then of course that brighter green we're gonna die cut out with. Uh, snowman's cap, we have black cardstock. I have yellow for the little elf's hair. And then I have, um, it's very pale, you can, it's like a pale peach color card stock. I just went through my scraps, guys. Um, and I, I'm gonna die cut out some faces with that along with the elf's hair once more because the ears are attached to the elf's, elf's ears. Um, I'm also gonna die cut out our scarves. You get two different scarves in the die set. Um, I'm gonna die cut those out with some panels that we are gonna ink right now. So we have the polka dot and the striped block um, panel. And I'm gonna bring in a teal ink and a pink ink. And we'll just ink these up and stamp those. 
I'm, I am later on going to end up um, doing the same thing, kind of repetitive with some lighter pink ink um, and lighter teal. Um, I ended up using my oxide inks actually because we're gonna we're gonna create all four of these cute little um, holiday guys, and then I'm going to create two more off camera. So pink ink, and then we'll bring in a teal, and we just gotta find it. This is I'm using my memento inks here, and we'll stamp this. And these are, again, nice. If you wanted to just trim them out and create presents with them, you could. You can use them for the bottom of your tags. I think that's pretty fabulous. You can even do a little layering with them, which is nice. So again, I'll take the the both of the scarves in the die set and we'll die cut out the scarves with our stamped paper that we just created. Some of these we're going to repeat die cutting, like Santa's hat. I want one with red cardstock, one with white, so we can do a little layering. Also the same with the elf's cap. And so you'll see multiples here. But I have everything die cut, and we get to put these together. So easy to put together. Now all of these, the caps, have um, rings on them, which I think is fabulous because you can create tags with them, but we're not gonna create tags, we're gonna create card bases. Now, I was just playing around. You have the, the face piece that you use for your reindeer. Um, I think that would be cute to make a reindeer even without the face base. <laughs> you could use the, the cheek part to make a face with too, if you wanted to. Um, I was just playing with this, this little nose piece. Add little two dots for eyes so you can make different sizes if you want it to. <laughs> the eyes are easy to do. All I did was put black cardstock behind it. This covers up the eyes, makes them solid black. Now to create the antlers, we're gonna go ahead and snip off the, um, the circle that you would use for the tag. And then I'll take my darker reindeer ears. We're gonna snip off the circle. And then I'm gonna snip off the ears and then I'll snip off the ear at the bottom. Hero Arts made it very easy to trim these out um, with cut lines. So a lot of your die cuts have um, cut lines in them. So if you follow the scissors along it, you just do a couple little snips to um, alter your images. Makes it so easy. I added glue to my craft little reindeer antlers and ears. I'm going to add my dark brown ears and then my antlers to the craft piece. And of course you could do this the opposite. You could add the craft piece to the dark um, dark antlers, but I thought this was just easier. I'm going to add a glue at the base of the ears and then we'll just add our head right behind it. Tap it down and our reindeer is done. How fast and easy is that? And I did pop up my my cheek part with the nose with foam adhesive. If you don't want the dimension, you don't have to do that. But I just think that adds a little bit more character to your images. We're gonna add a little more by using some pink for cheeks. I'm using my pink RV10 Copic marker to rosy up this guy's cheek. And then I die cut out this cheek piece one more time. And you can see, you just need to snip twice to remove that nose. And I die cut that out with red cardstock because we're going to make a Rudolph, of course. I'm going to add a foam square to the nose, and then we'll add our red one right on top. And it creates the cutest little reindeer. If you don't want to do Rudolph, you could do a brown nose, like the same color as the antlers. But I think that's so easy to put together and so fun. Love this. Okay, um, I did die cut out several sets of holly with the green and then the darker green um, cardstock. Now we're going to make an elf. To do the elf, it's basically the same thing. We're going to start off first by adding some black cardstock behind just the eyes of the elf. Now the nose, of course, die cut out. Um, so I am going to find my my the same peachy colored cardstock, and I'm just going to cover the backside with a piece of that. I'm actually going to go through my trash bin and find that piece that I die cut out <laughs> and we'll just trim off a small piece of this put it behind it add a little glue 
cover the back. It makes it just easy. So our back's solid and it makes it nice too because you can add foam adhesive behind it. Okay, for our little elf snows, I'm going to add a little rosiness with my RV10 marker along with the cheeks. I'm going to do a little um, rosy cheeks here. Um, this cardstock is a little bit lighter and so I'm going to blend out those cheeks with my colorless blender. Um, with Copics on cardstock, it looks like you're going on really dark. The color does pull back quite a bit though. Next, we're going to take the same color of cardstock as we die cut out with a face. Um, the, the same hair piece, we're going to add that to the top of our little elf. Making sure those ear sides are connected to the face. And then we're going to take our little hair that we die cut out with the yellow cardstock. All we have to do now is just do one snip and trim off the ears. And again, these have cut lines, so it kind of gives you a guide on where to trim. Makes it easy peasy. I'll add some glue over my existing hair, and then we'll just layer this right on top. So we have two layers of hair. I like this because it adds a little extra dimension too. Kind of casts a little bit of a shadow. Okay, cute, huh? <laughs> so cute. Now we're gonna go ahead and create our hat. Again, these have loopies on top. We wanna go ahead and remove those along with snipping two snips in the base of our elf hat is snipped off. We're gonna, you can layer your green to your red, but I'm gonna layer the, the green bottom to my red hat um, with foam adhesive. So we're gonna add some thin foam squares and then do a little layering with this. This is gonna add us, give us a little extra dimension. We'll go ahead and remove the release paper and add that to the bottom. And if you wanted to do the opposite, you could have this piece being red and then the hat being green. I, I think there's there's no right or wrong elf colored hat. <laughs> okay, we'll do the same thing. I'm gonna add a very small foam square to the bell. And then we'll adhere our green bell. You could put a gold bell if you wanted to, but since we die cut out with green, we'll just use the green. And then our hat is good to go. And again, I'm just gonna use my scissors and nip off that um, portion on the top. Since we're not making a tag, we don't need that. So easy peasy. We'll add a little glue to this guy's hair and then we can place our cap right on top. How cute is this? Oh my goodness, I just love this. His chin looks like a Jay Leno chin. So what we're gonna do is layer two of um, these little elf shirt pieces. Um, you could do one if you wanted, but two I think looks better. It matches the hat. And then we'll add a little glue to our little guy's chin. This is going to narrow it and make it, his face a little more round. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You could actually put your um, elf neckline piece behind if you wanted to have, if you wanted to have that long chin, you could. Okay, now we're going to make our, you want to build a snowman? I went ahead and stamped with the polka dot um, background some pale pink. Um, actually, this is Kitsch Flamingo Distress Oxide ink that I used for this one. Um, I stamped one with, or I die cut out one um, of the scarves and then a hat piece, just a portion of the hat piece, so we can layer it on the black hat. So we have polka dots on the black hat. And then we can go ahead and add a piece of foam adhesive to our snowman's head. We'll snip off that piece. Um, and you know what? We need a piece of black cardstock to put behind our snowman. I'm going to go ahead and add a little glue. And I think I'm going to need a couple more pieces of black cardstock. I was usually I'm prepared, but I wasn't with this one. <laughs> so bear with me. I'll just grab a small piece of black cardstock, place that behind my snowman. And then we can go ahead and add our little hat. Oh, we'll rosy up the cheeks first. Gotta have snowman's rosy cheeks. Blend it out a bit. Since this is white cardstock, we gotta blend it out. 
then we can remove the release paper and you can put your hat wonky if you wanted to we're going to go almost straight up and down with this guy's hat and then we'll go ahead and add a little glue at the bottom of our snowman's chin this is where you can raise up the scarf to make his his face look less long and more round i think that's genius so the higher up you go the more round your snowman will be I'm going to straighten out this guy's hat. Now I have a small piece of orange cardstock. I just went through my scraps again. I'm going to replace the snowman's button nose with a carrot nose. So I'm just making a triangle with that orange cardstock. And then I'll add a small piece of foam adhesive behind it. You want to make sure it's it's the base of the, the carrot is basically as big as the button nose. This way you can't see it behind it. And then we're going to add a little carrot nose. How easy is this? <laughs> okay, so our snowman is done. Now we're going to go ahead and make our Santa. Santa is just as easy. We'll flip it around. I need to trim another piece of black cardstock. We'll add some glue. Place. We don't mind um, placing this over the nose because it's going to be covered with Santa's Santa's beard is that or mustache. Santa stash is actually connected to the nose, so we don't need the nose that's on this little face portion. We're going to add a foam square, add Santa's beard, and after we have this adhered, I'm going to add a small foam, foam square to the middle of Santa's stash here, and then we'll place this on the existing nose, kind of layering it over the beard making sure it's centered. And of course we got a rosy up Santa's nose. So I'm gonna bring back my RV10 marker and then we're gonna go over Santa's nose. And have a little blending here. We don't want it too bright. Okay, now we're gonna do Santa's hat. Easy to do, it's basically the same as we did with the elf. You're going to trim off just two snips. We'll take the bottom um, cuff of Santa's hat off. So I just did a couple snips. We're going to replace it on top of some foam adhesive along with the little puff ball on the end of Santa's hat. We're going to add a little bit of glue behind Santa's hat and add it to Santa's head. You want to make sure your hat will line up to the sides of Santa's beard. I think it looks nicer. And then he is good to go. How fun is he? We're going to add fluff or puff to his nose in a bit. Um, I did remove his, his stash. I want to rosy up his cheeks. Uh, I think this just looks a little bit better. Santa's cheeks are always rosy. So we'll blend those out a little bit with a blender pen. And all four of our cute little uh, images are so fun. Um, I just love this. Okay, we're going to actually take our holly leaves now i die cut out again two with two different colors of green cardstock um originally i was just going to use one but i think i think two is going to work better we're going to layer them together so i'll add a little glue behind my darker green layer the lighter green right on top kind of offsetting it a little bit so we have the darker green peeking out i just think this is gonna since we have some pretty basic um cardstock colors when you do this it just adds a little variety I'll add um, a holly leaf also to my little snowman's hat. Maybe we're going to offset these. And you could put the holly in the background next to your sentiments. You could put them on the scarves. So sky is the limit. I'm so glad that Hero Arts included a holly leaf in here. Just makes, um, makes it more festive. <laughs> we'll do our last one here. And it looks like we might have to die cut out a few more. Again, off screen, um, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my, my darker teal scarf and then we can add a holly leaf to this underneath our reindeer's chin. I forgot to put his scarf on here. And he's good to go. Two different kinds, of, and you can flip flop your scarves. If you want this scarf on your snowman and the other one, you can flip flop them, which is nice. If you want to put a scarf on your elf, you could too. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab my holly leaf die, die cut out a few more because I'm going to create um, one more snowman and one more reindeer, you can see here. Um, and I did go ahead and add 
holly to those as well. We're going to put the ones I just made aside and we're going to use all four of these for our very first card. The, ba the best thing about paper is you can recreate over and over and over and these don't take very long. So I love that. We are going to add a sparkly background using some of our white glitter paper. I just tr cut it down the middle so it's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. We're going to adhere this to one of the card bases that we created with the snow cardstock here. Once this is adhered, we can go ahead and take each one of our, um, our winter and Christmas um, oh, you know what? Let's do some fluff. We're going to take our lacquer pen and go over the cuff of our Santa hat. Now, uh, my lacquer pen is super thick. I mean, really, really thick. It's holding its shape really well. I am actually spreading it out using the tip or the nozzle of my lacquer pen, spreading it out. Because um, when you add the, the white puff to it, I found that the less amount you have, the better results. So kind of spread it out and it's okay if you have squiggly lines it just adds to the detail. I went ahead and added my white puff. We're going to funnel this back in our little container and then I'll bring in my heat gun and we're going to melt it and you get to see the magic happen. I love this stuff. I used to have a snow pen and it always always by every every season I would have to buy a new one because it kept drying out. This is the best because you're always going to have a lacquer pen or um, and, and your white puff is included and a little goes a long way so this is super nice but you can see how it just raises um, like like whipped cream <laughs> it's not how I can explain it but it adds so much dimension it does dry a little bit hard but I think it may flatten if you were to um, mail it I'm not sure I, I have I haven't mailed one with the fluff on it just yet but um, I love the way this looks you can see the dimension I had to close my blinds because the Sun is actually going down and um, it was changing um, my screen tone so sorry I hope you could see the dimension that that has now I arranged all four of these guys in each corner of my card base I'm going to go ahead and add foam adhesive to my snowman. The rest of them I already have foam adhesive behind. Sometimes I like to add the foam adhesive first and then kind of position it and then once I'm happy I can just flip them around and remove the release paper. But some of the scarves are going to be overhanging. Santa's beard is going to be overhanging. Um, so you're just going to see little bits and pieces and it kind of seems like a waste when we trim all of it off but the card turns out so cute guys and you know what you can make more that's the best thing about these dies is um, go through your scrap stash recreate to your heart's content because um, it's it's so much fun at first I was always hesitant uh, trimming off the excess that's overhanging but um, but then when you realize you can make more, it's, it doesn't hurt as bad. <laughs> but isn't it so cute? That's just the funnest card ever. I just love that. I'm not going to add any sentiment, but we're going to embellish this a little bit later after we finish our next card. So for our next card, I have a panel that is measuring uh, four inches by five and a quarter. So it's going to leave me a little bit of border on my card base. And I'm going to bring in a circle the Circle Infinity die set from Hero Arts. This is nice. Um, I'm going to take one to cut out a window and then the next size up we're going to create a very thin frame with um, some teal colored cardstock. For our next card we're going to make a snowman shaker. So I'll take the smallest die, line it up, cut a window in my panel and then take both of those dies and die cut out a thin um, circle frame. Once we have that done, I'm going to add glue behind my circle frame. This is going to go over my panel, over my window. And we'll just making sure it lines up nice and even. And then I have a piece of acetate you saw me brought, bring in. My acetate right now has tissue behind it. Um, but again, we're going to make a shaker. So once this is adhered, we'll flip this over. I'm going to use my scissors trim this down so it's slightly smaller than my window 
and then I'll use my tape runner. You can use your glue if you wanted to. I'm gonna use my tape runner. Go around our circle, add our acetate, and then I'm gonna bring in some foam adhesive and go around my window and also the edges of my background panel. Now, normally I like to use just one layer of foam adhesive, but I wanted this to be a full-blown shaker. So I doubled up on my foam tape, guys. I'm using two layers, so I have lots of room for um, my sequin mix to, to float around. Now, speaking of my sequin mix, I'm using the Hero Arts Frost sequin mix. This has stars in it and some beautiful blues, iridescence and white sequins. It's gonna be perfect with my snowman here. We're gonna fill it up pretty good. Seems like it looks like a lot, but it seems like after you put the backing on, you wanna put, you should have put more because um, it falls down. I have a piece of scratch, piece of white cardstock. We just put it on the back of our panel. I'm gonna remove my release paper off of that bottom foam tape, add adhesive to my background, and then we'll place this on our card base. We'll just make sure it's centered because we do have that border. And I love the way this looks. So much fun. You can see how those sequins kind of draw. It looks really full now, but in my pictures, the sequins do kind of fall a little bit. Now we're gonna add foam adhesive behind our snowman. He's gonna go right in the, in the shaker window. I need to double up on this piece here. I have different layers with the scarf and all that, so you might need to double up in certain areas. Once our snowman's adhered, we're gonna go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I'm gonna bring in my Hero Arts Intense Black Ink and an acrylic block. And for this one in our stamp set, there is Warm Wishes. We'll take that and just stamp that to the left of the scarf area. It was like the perfect balance for this card. And technically you might wanna do this before you add foam adhesive, before you create your shaker. But I put so much foam, adhe or foam adhesive behind it, I wasn't worried about getting a, um, a not a good impression. It's actually nice stamping on foam adhesive if you have the whole entire background filled. <laughs> Now, for my final card, I'm taking some of our white glitter cardstock and I'm creating a snow hillside. I'm keeping my cardstock integrity um, on the bottom piece and on the left side because we're going to put that in the corner of our card base. And then I created another piece of white cardstock that a snowy bank um, that was slightly smaller than the glittery cardstock. We're adhering our glitter to our card base. You can see that it lines up the corner beautifully. Almost goes to the top. And then this piece will go in the bottom corner. I am gonna add foam adhesive behind it, but actually I did that already. It's stuck down to my craft mat. <laughs> but we're gonna bring in some tumbled glass distress oxide ink. We're just adding color to the bottom of this snowbank and to the left of the snowbank kind of pulling it up. Um, I'm gonna pick this up carefully. Remember I have a foam adhesive behind it. This is gonna go on the bottom of our panel. Okay, we're clean off our desk here and I'm gonna add a little bit of color to the top left corner of our card base. So we have a little blue up there too. So I'll bring back my blending brush and my, um, my tumble glass and we'll just add a little color. We're gonna add some snow um, snowballs in our background. So just adding the blue makes the snowballs stand out even more against that white background. Okay, now we are gonna take our lacquer pen and we are gonna add, you don't wanna, you don't wanna go too big with these. Again, this lacquer pen, it will hold its shape pretty well. Um, in fact, when you're done, I suggest tapping it a couple times on your desk to flatten your snowballs so it will make them bigger. I'm going to bring in some scratch paper and then we're going to add our white puff embossing powder over our snowballs. Now, I have two snowballs that are pretty good size and you're going to see what happens in just a minute. <laughs> I was like, what the, what happened? <laughs> I tapped it and when I tapped it, two of my snowballs popped off. You can see here. <laughs> so I would suggest tapping it a couple times on your, your craft desk 
I have to do a redo with these. So we'll add a little more lacquer and then some more of our white puff. But your snowballs could fall off if they're they're too round. <laughs> Just a warning. <laughs> We're gonna heat melt um, our white puff, or not melt it, actually fluff it up. And I love the way these, these are in not perfect by no means. They're actually imper, imperfect snowballs, but that just makes it a little more fun. I did add foam adhesive behind my reindeer. He's gonna go um, over our snow bank. And I did stamp my sentiment too. You can see there I put happy holidays um, with my Hero Arts Intense black ink, just right above the holly leaves. Now I have extra holly leaves I wanted to add, but I kind of like the clean look of my reindeer card. So I'm just gonna let him have one on his scarf. We're gonna pull all of these down. We're gonna add a little bit of extra touches. I'll bring back my lacquer pen and we're gonna go over um, our reindeer's nose. And again, it's really thick stuff, guys. So um, you can kind of use the nozzle of your lacquer pen to spread out that, color, um, that lacquer. Um, it will make it dry faster and not as, um, and it just, it just spreads a lot easier if you use the nozzle. I'm going to go over both of my um, carrot nose and also my elf's nose. I'll go over my carrot snowman shaker card here with my lacquer pen. And then if you want to go over the eyes with your, your lacquer pen, you could too. I'm just going to leave those um, a mat with our black card stock. I'm going to go over this guy's Rudolph's nose here. And then we'll let those dry. Last but not least, I'm bringing in my red, Christmas red stickles. Um, I buy my red stickles just for Christmas. And I just think it adds a perfect amount of glittery um, touches. We're going to use these um, as holly berries. When you die cut out your holly leaves, there's berries there. Of course, they're green. We're going to replace it with our red stickles. But those are my projects today. I hope you enjoyed the Hero Arts, my monthly hero kit. Again, this kit did sell out, so this video is more for inspiration. But I hope you um, hope you have fun with it. It's such a fun kit. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a lovely day, guys. We will see you again soon. Bye-bye.